Hello and welcome gorgeous Taurus to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really great. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for the week ahead. As always be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You might see a sign, a symbol, a message on one or several of the cards. Take notice of this. It is a direct message from Spirit to you and your situation. So we have two cards here that have fallen out. Believe in the impossible, Taurus, because something totally unexpected is about to land in your life this week. Things just fall into place, Spirit is telling me. Once in a blue moon type of thing. So expect a miracle to come through. Believe in the impossible because that's what I'm seeing is on the way for you. What an amazing and powerful card in energy. Luck is on your side. Another powerful, beautiful card. And this is the new moon in Sagittarius. So you may have a Sagittarius in your life, perhaps of significance. Luck is on your side. Luck is going to follow you. You're going to you're going to realize that things will just fall into place for you this week. Open up your mind, believe in the impossible, allow those blessings to pour in because that's exactly what spirit is wanting, uh, wanting for you. So let's see what this deck reveals, Taurus. Guidance for Taurus, please, spirit. This one here is yours, elegance, beautiful. It is found in the beauty of nature, the lotus waiting to bloom. Be the swan on the water and glide. So this has a sense, a feeling to me of you going with the flow and not resisting, accepting what is and not resisting anything in your path or anything that comes up that may be frustrating or difficult to manage this week, kind of be flexible and move around these energies and situations as best you can. Also being in nature is going to help you a lot. And there's also a sense of um, spirit bringing through a message through nature to you. I'm also seeing that you're in a waiting phase. Some of you are in a waiting phase, waiting to bloom in some way. So place that energy where it fits. Spirit is saying that they are with you in this waiting period and just kind of glide through the circumstances and that's the best approach to take at the moment. Pilgrimage. You are on a journey to your own greatness. Your soul is longing to find the way. Only you can choose your path. So you might be at a bit of a crossroads in some in some way, Taurus. I can see that. But Spirit is trying to guide you down the right path. You are on a journey and it's about finding your own power in this journey and your soul is speaking to you your soul is longing to find the way so you might have an intuition about this you may have a feeling um, it may come through a message through nature a spirit message perhaps some guidance there maybe through your dreams that's how spirit will come through but stay open to the guidance this week All right, this card here is yours. Follow your dreams, moon in Pisces, wonder. So Pisces, you may have a Pisces in your life that you're communicating with or someone in your family that's a Pisces, might be your significant other perhaps. And just like I was seeing that uh, just with the previous card, that spirit might come through your dreams, might come through your dreams to bring through guidance and a message. Follow your dreams. This is about a vision that you might have toward a goal. Um, you have a dream. You know what's in your heart. Believe in the impossible. Believe in this dream is what I'm seeing with these two cards connected. Maybe you're needing to take a leap of faith. The sun in Aries and new beginnings. So totally new beginning in some way. Something is often ending so a, a cycle of phase is coming to an end that's usually the case when a new be beginning starts so you might be wrapping up things this week and you're expecting some changes in some way that might you might need to take a leap of faith with you might you might have an Aries in your life as well 
All right, let's see what this deck reveals. Guidance for Taurus, please, Spirit, to guidance for Taurus. Fairy spotting. It's time to go fairy spotting. It's said that seeing is believing, but in fact, the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. I'm feeling this as a similar message here as the first card. Believe in the impossible. Um, believe in something. Believe in your dreams, perhaps, a new beginning. Um, see how this uh, fits in your life where you need this energy. Um, but um, it's all about belief and having that understanding that spirit's working for you. Divination may also be a part of your life this week. You might be um, developing this skill. Perhaps you might uh, you might be seeing uh, someone uh, for a reading. There is some gift here that you have, though, I have to say. There is a gift that you have. Maybe you're meditating a bit more or you're um, connecting into spirit in a stronger way. Embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. So there might be a situation where you're wanting that crystal clear clarity to come in. Um, maybe you're about to make a decision or something, but um, whatever this is for you, you can tune in through meditation, through prayer, um, and spirit will give you the guidance that you need. All right, let's see what this deck reveals. This one here is yours, the High Priestess. I love it because this is very much in alignment with divination, with um, your intuition taking the lead. And the symbol is the owl, so that might have a relevance to you. This is a time to pause and reflect, not to take action. Trust in your spiritual gifts as nothing is hidden from your divine intuition. You can trust that divine intuition. You can trust what you are feeling about someone or about something. It comes on as a strong feeling. The Queen of Spring. Don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. Wow. So we're going back to this energy here of following your dreams, believing in the impossible. So don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. You may have several priorities vying for your attention at once, but you can do it. So you might have a lot on your plate. You might have a lot going on this week, but you will have some time to focus on what brings you happy and joy. The sunflower here is beautiful. It does speak to you doing things that bring joy to your life success in some way as well I'm seeing um, don't give up on your dreams that's another strong message that's coming through with several cards in this reading the emperor is Aries so we have definitely an Aries in someone's life here structure and organization are important right now don't be afraid to take on a leadership role as you have much wisdom to offer so you I can see you stepping up into a leadership role this may be in your workplace, it might be in your own personal life, it might be in a relationship, you're deciding to take the lead. And I'm also being drawn here to the butterfly, which symbolizes change. And so there might be a change in your, in your work, in, your, um, in what you're planning for. A positive change, it's a good change. Renewal. It's time to get clarity about your life purpose and make changes so that you're on the path most divinely suited to you. Forgive what has been without judgment and fearlessly embrace what's to come. So definitely a, a change is coming. A renewal process is taking place in some way in your life. So place this energy in your life where it fits. And clarity. Going back to the divination card here. Um, you wanting that crystal clear clarity. I'm seeing it here with the renewal card as well, uh, where you will be, well, you won't be confused about a decision or about something anymore. It, it all becomes very clear to you. The magician is about manifestation. A manifestation is going to come into your life. It's beautiful. 
And there is magic in the air. So someone in spirit is helping bring this through. Um, so yes, helping you. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. Just put your mind to it and you'll start to see things fall into place. Going back to this very first card here, believing in the impossible. You have to open up to that possibility. And the seven of autumn, the planning resources and efforts you've invested in your dream will reap great rewards. In the meantime, have patience and meditate on your next steps. So we do have a, a little bit of a journey here. Spirit is saying that the next steps, so, you know, that's the this week you're focusing on that. But overall, you must open up to believing in the impossible, um, opening up to um, a totally unexpected positive outcome. So let's take a look at the pendulum. If you have a specific question you would like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you're quite welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your intuition. See how this resonates for you and your question. It's been wonderful to read for you today. I hope Spirit has come through with some messages. Um, messages that are important to you on your journey right now. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.